bullet between the eyeballs because that's not food. Faggots haven't had. Where, where's this list from? This list is from the eighties. <laughs> Remember when I told you about me making grilled cheese? You said, what the fuck is that? And I was oh, like, yeah. uh, grilled cheese? You was like, are you talking about toast and cheese? Cheese and toast, yeah. <laughs> toast and cheese. <laughs> like, just a, just a, we call it a petrol station. You call it a gas station. You call panties um, trousers, don't you? Well, no, you panties. call them trousers. That, no, not panties, not panty, pants. But you call oh, okay, pants yeah, yeah, trousers. Yeah, pants. Well, pants, we call them pants. pants or underwear. In the UK, the pants, are what, pants are underwear in the UK. Uh, uh, different Stu, can you can you see the screen here? Because I think it's about as good a time as any to to point this out. Here we have some fine British cuisine, and you tell us if you've had Lord. any of this. Bubble and squeak, right? I tell you what, bubble and squeak is. Bubble and squeak is basically leftover food from from like that you grill afterwards. So basically, all the leftover food, you just mash it up all together, and then put a bit of flour on it and grill it, and it's so like and squeak. so the same way you no, feed well, pigs. Listen, Actually, no, sounds good. My grandparents used to give me that when I was younger. That's an old school English thing when people are poor after the war. We don't fucking we don't grill <laughs> out leftovers anymore. You know what I mean? All Come right. <laughs> okay. What are what, what the hell are... is black pudding? Oh, pudding yes. is one of the. That's, I think it's some it's testicles of some sort of pig pig's testicles or something. No <laughs> one with blood. No, I, think, I don't know what it is. I don't. All I know is come from a pig. It's it's nasty. I don't like black pudding. Never have. Hideous. Whoever thought of that needs a fucking bullet between the eyeballs because that's not food. Faggots haven't had. Where, where's this list from? This list is from the eighties. <laughs> <laughs> it's from the medieval times. Twenty nineteen. People in the UK can. You haven't had any of those lately, Stu. Faggots. You haven't had any of those lately. Faggots. That's fucking. That's disgusting. That's hey, that's that's intense. That's illegal, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> hey, when I was, young, hey, when I was younger, stu, stu. I remember we, back in the what day are... they used to feed. I used to get liver for tea off my mum. I fucking hate liver. It's horrible. Oh. And, and back then, you can just walk off like the kids do now. So I'm not eating my tea. I'm going to play on my computer. You, you weren't allowed to leave the table until the fucking plate was empty. And I remember, oh, whenever her back was turned, mate, a bit of liver sliding it under the table to the dog. He fucking eat the lot. He did. Damn right. I got the question. I'm out of fact. Yeah, Stu, Stu, I got a question. You're the one in the Philippines. You need to stay away from him. Stu, Stu, I got a question. What are jellied eels, and have you ever had them? It was a fish that London. You can get them in London. You go. It's a east from East London. Cockney, Cockney eels. The Cockneys around West Ham area and all that. They have them. Jelly eels. It's just a fish from the. From the Thames, is I've never had one in my life. They're like snakes, aren't they? I wouldn't, I wouldn't eat one. Yeah, but steak jelly. kidney pie, steak yeah. and kidney pie is beautiful. You get a nice steak and kidney pie with a bit of nice bit of pastry, brilliant. Lancashire hot pot when it's winter, it's cold, snowing outside. The fucking get that down, you mate, for a million dollars. Chicken tikka masala is not really an English dish. I know the, the English invented the curry, but the curry was obviously being cooked in India. They just don't call it curry. The so tikka masala is a, a, a dish made for the English, but it's not really. You know what? The, the one that has the most British name are the one on the top here. Bangers and mash. Oi! We'll get some bangers and mash. All, all it is is sausage on mashed potato. So that's all that is. Um, <laughs> toad in the hole. Toad in the hole. Big Yorkshire pudding with big sausages. Um grilled into lovely hey by the way final thing final thing the bacon sandwich is that just bread and bacon no mayo no nothing just just two pieces of do you honestly think we're that fucking dull over it i don't know man (laughs) 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 i don't know that's why i'm asking you (laughs) anyway that's the list our food's terrible but come on man we could you know we we put a bit of ketchup to flavor it up or a bit of mayonnaise we've got we've got all that all right i just wanted to make i just wanted to straighten things out Especially in the chat room. Let's see what people are saying. Um, uh, Steve Schneider says, except scotch egg, I make those. Telemos Lo-Fi says, liver and onions taste good. I want to remove... I want to remove from crap here. Yeah, that's true. Apology man <laughs> in the chat room. He says, what the hell did I walk into? Uh, Big Boys Boxing, shout out to Big Boys, says, black pudding is congealed. Okay, well, apology, he, apologies, he needs to start eating some of that old 80s food, that liver and kidney and everything else, make him strong as an ox. The thing is, back when, back then the food was just completely different. Now these days you go to supermarkets, you get all the foods from all over the world, you mm. know. 
But back then it was just uh, we had to eat English cuisines, and like I said, it's terrible. But some of them are. You c you come around mine and get an, a good English roast dinner that my mum's cooked, mate. One of the best meals you ever have. Listen, you need a strong ang Anglo-Saxon food now. Well, actually, British food now yeah. is like uh, Arab food. Yeah.